this kind of company that's going to take us into the supersonic area in a clean way. And we are here to support their efforts to create these more than 700 good, 1,700 good paying jobs here in our state. North Carolina is a leader now in clean energy. Uh, we have attracted an electric vehicle auto manufacturer. We've collected, uh, attracted an EV battery maker right here in the triad. Uh, we have passed legislation that is going to require our power sector to get to uh, carbon zero. And we also are about to unveil a clean transportation plan that's going to move us into the future. The private market is moving in this direction of clean energy. If North Carolina can be at the forefront of that, we can reap the economic benefits for families all across our state and put more money in people's pockets. And I'm excited about that potential. Um, we are told, you know, the airport has already done a bunch of site preparation work. B, E, and K are moving in their trailers and mobilization. Um, they're doing that preliminary work at the end of next week. And uh, the week of February 6th, I think will be the first time, is that right, Kevin? Keep me honest, that you'll be able to see people on the job, et cetera. Um, there is more site, some final site work that will be done. Then they'll start digging the hole and hopefully they'll start filling it with our future super factory. Uh, the $500 million refers to the investment that Boom will make over the next 10 years in the super factory, in the triad area, et cetera, not including the heads or the employees that we will hire, 1,750 by 2030 and more than 2,400 by 2032. Number's still good. Yes, sir. I say um, we pride ourselves on being mission, customer, and passenger focused. And by doing that, it has served us incredibly well. We understand that what we're doing is audacious, but we are working with a world-class team from some of the best aviation companies, as well as brand and industry leaders in the world. And we're blessed with incredible suppliers and partners. And so we do, you know, we say what we're gonna do, and then we do what we say, and just stay focused on the outcome. Questions? Yeah. How many local employees do you have now, and when do you expect to get the first wave going? Right now, we just started hiring our local employees. In fact, our very first local employee, you might be able to find him in the audience, um, is Chris Taylor, who will be our leader here in Greensboro and the Triad area for the Super Factory. I believe we have 19 um, that we're planning right now. And then as construction continues, um, and over the next couple of years, you'll see close to 400, and that number will continue to scale when we begin manufacturing and ultimately getting us to that 750, 17, 1,750 uh, employees by 2030 and more than 2,400 by 2032. In the beginning, we're going to be looking for folks that will be operationally um, focused. We're going to be installing the AIT tooling. We're going to be readying the product, the super factory. We call that production for the actual assembly to start. Um, we'll also be looking at folks that are going to be training every single BOOM employee here, as well as um, in our first headquarters in Denver, Colorado, goes through extensive safety um, training. And so those will be early, but from administrative to engineering, to maintenance, to construction, um, to operational, we're gonna have needs for great jobs and great opportunities. We'll start actual uh, production in 2024 but be ready to start assembling in 2025. The time, yes, the time that it takes for the first one is different than the time that it will take for all the others that will very much uh, go at a more rapid pace. But we anticipate if we start assembly in 25, 
school roll the first one off in 26 and I believe at scale we'll do what 30 I can get back to you on the number at scale of what we'll do with the first line and I know that we'll be well over 60 a year once we get the second line um, under operation per year.